The founder of the security firm, once known as Blackwater, says he was, quote, thrown under the bus. Eric Prince says he was betrayed after leading a double life working for the CIA. CBS News correspondent Kimberly Dozier reports. Eric Prince says he's had enough. First, he says he was maligned as a mercenary. Now he's told Vanity Fair he's walking away from his security company, formerly known as Blackwater, after being betrayed for developing a secret assassination squad for the CIA. I'm an American working for America. While his company protected VIPs in Iraq and Afghanistan, this former Navy SEAL officer says he led a double life. I don't think there's anybody quite like Eric Prince. He so told reporter Adam like Sorolsky he started working for the CIA in 2004. The agency's National Resources Division, which is a domestic division of the agency, recruited Eric to be part of a kind of a secretive network of Americans who have special skills or special access. In August, newspapers reported a CIA hit squad for hire was run by Blackwater. Prince claims it was run by him alone, and whoever leaked it put him in danger. The CIA assassination program was secret for eight years, and Eric's feeling is that within something like 48 hours of it being briefed to the U.S. Congress, he started getting calls about it. But some of Prince's closest associates question his claims. They told CBS News he may be trying to distance himself from his ailing company. Prince himself says the company's legal bills top $2 million a month for lawsuits foreign and domestic. Defense sources familiar with the so-called hit squad say Prince did put forward proposals that included things like jets, high-tech blimps, and ground squads that would go after al-Qaeda targets, but it never got the green light. Kimberly Dozier, CBS News, Washington.